What's up everyone welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to be going over the first 10 things that you need to do whenever you get your Oculus Quest 2. So without further ado let's get right with the video now. Welcome to Search Tech, our mission is to help you get the most out of your tech through reviews and tutorials. If that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified when we release a new video. And there's going to be useful links below in the description covering everything that we discuss in this video. With that being said, let's get right into it. So first up, I'm going to tell you to set up your VR area. Think about where you want to use your VR and set up a designated area. Mostly it will remember your previous boundary and you can just get started without having to redraw your boundary if you're in a new place. When deciding where to use your Oculus Quest 2, I would say try to think of spaces in your home that are already pretty open. If you can't think of anywhere in particular, just think of a space that would easily allow you to move furniture out of the way, like pushing off a coffee table in the living room against the wall. Second, it would be play the free demos Oculus provides. So Oculus made their own little demo game to help you familiarize yourself with the new VR headset and controllers. With instructions on the screen holding your hand through the many basic activities, First Steps for Quest 2 is the perfect first game to play. It's not really a game in the sense that there is no other purpose to it besides learning the Oculus Quest 2 controls. There are no missions to complete or enemies to kill, just fun to be had. Then we're gonna have check out the Quest Store and spend some time browsing through the games on the Quest Store. When you first get an Oculus Quest 2, you won't have a lot of games, and although it will take a while to build up a hefty game library, you can definitely start a wishlist right now. Also, if you search free demo in the Quest Store, you'll see a quite a few available demos. Try out as many as you want, you can get a feel for the kind of game that you like for VR. Two notable demos you should really try out include the one for Beat Saber and the one for Super Hot VR, which we mentioned in our best games, which you can check in the channel. Then next up we're gonna have check out some free Oculus Quest 2 games. Although there are plenty of free demos to check out on the Quest Store, you can find even more through SideQuest. There are a ton of free games or experiences that can be downloaded to your Quest 2. The free games are mixed in with paid games, so just make sure before you get your sights set on one. On the spot number 5 is think about upgrading your Oculus Quest 2 accessories. You should also think about upgrading your Quest 2 with some accessories, and although the base console comes with everything you need to play, there is a lot of extra stuff you can buy to make your experience more comfortable and enjoyable. You can upgrade your controller grips or head strap, replace your facial cover with a silicone or padded option, or even pick up a carrying case so you can travel with your VR. Then you will also want to pick up a lens cover and some microfiber cloths to help keep everything clean. Then it's gonna be check out YouTube Oculus Quest videos. A great way to check out just how cool your new VR headset is through YouTube, if you simply go through the YouTube app and search Oculus Quest videos, you'll see a whole lot of options to choose from. There are roller coaster videos, a shark attack, VR videos from National Geographic, and more. You can even virtually visit the Krusty Krab from SpongeBob SquarePants with a few different videos. Then you can also watch something on Netflix, and if you have a Netflix subscription, you need to check out the Netflix app on the Oculus Quest 2. There is a whole media room experience that makes watching something feel so luxurious in VR. Watching 3D movies in the theater sometimes, or maybe a lot of the time, isn't that amazing experience you hope for. Watching movies in VR gives you that 3D feeling but it does it so much better. There are actually 3D movies you can watch through VR, but even just watching a regular old movie or TV show is a great experience. Then on place number 8 we have learn how to cast your games. So you might primarily use your VR headset on your own, but it's worth it to know how to cast your screen to a phone, computer, or even a Chromecast in case you have friends or family over that you want to share the experience with you. To cast to a phone, you will need to first download the Oculus app, then with your headset on, press the Oculus button, select sharing, cast, and then start. 
you should see a notification on your phone prompting you to open the Oculus app and then start casting. If you already had the app open, you can just select start casting from inside the app. Then we're going to have set up your apps and notifications. So VR will immerse you in fascinating worlds so effectively that you won't notice hours pass or hear your phone buzzing with real world concerns. Rather than remove your headset to check notifications every so often, you can set up your phone notifications on the Quest 2. Once they're set up, you can decide which apps you will or won't allow to display notifications in the headset, as well as whether or not you see notifications in games or only in Oculus Home since you're done playing. And then lastly, we're gonna have build your library with the App Lab and SideQuest. So Meta has a strict approval process for what gets on the Quest Store that most indie developers can pass, meaning you used to have a silo of rejected games. Now, thanks to the new App Lab initiative, you can download indie experiences to your official Quest library. They're just harder to find. App Lab games are unlisted on the Quest Store, meaning that they can only be found if you know and type in their exact names. But sites like App Lab DB and SideQuest tell you how to find the links and which ones gamers have downloaded or liked the most. Many App Lab games are either free or $10 or less, meaning they're much better for building your library without breaking the bank. Alright everyone, so that was it for today's video. If you got some valuable information out of it, please don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.